Shalom and welcome to Bible Stories as Blueprints of the Soul, your Biblical Hebrew Podcast. Shalom and good morning. Today I would like to speak to you about dead moments or what we perceive as dead moments. All of us experience dead moments from time to time. What is a dead moment to most of us? When nothing is seemingly happening. There is no email coming. There is no great happening occurring somewhere on the net or outside somewhere. Seemingly silent. No streaming. No meetings, nothing to go for, nothing to wish for. It seems that everything is meaningless and we feel that everything is dead because there is no sound or a picture. What is really happening is completely opposite to dead moment. And today I would like to share one moment, so to speak, dead, very dead, that we experience among other people, and how this experience of a dead moment is the opposite, and this dead moment brought a song, a poem. A few years ago, we happened to be in Austria, in Vienna, in this part of the year, around September, or mid-September, very close all the days between Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur. Those days in general in Israel are very, very hot. Sometimes they reach 40 degrees Celsius or 100 and more Fahrenheit. Yom Kippur is one of the hottest days in the year in the North Hemisphere. And the same weather or the same conditions we met in Austria. It was a few days before Yom Kippur and we learned the maps of train or how to move in Vienna because there's a multiple trains and options and you have to learn how to navigate in the city, in the big city. One of the train stations in Vienna that we had to go through to arrive to a destination is called in German and in Vienna or in Austria, the, the language is German. So one of the stations that we have to go through is called or is named Heilige or Heiligenstadt. Heiligenstadt. When Stadt in German is city, in English, city, and Heilige, Heilige like holy, Kadosh. So, what is Heiligenstadt? The holy city. This is the name of a train station in Vienna. Some train stations carry the name of people, personas. Some have the name of biblical theme. And this one is called Heilige Stadt, the holy city. This is a name of a train station. So one of those very hot days, we went through this station and we were waiting for the train to come. And suddenly we hear the voice of the information stream because they're always notification by voice, not just by the phone or the schedule is not just on the phone, it's also on maps. And also when there are updates, they are coming in voices like in airport or so. And suddenly comes an update in German that there is a delay and this train will no come. So we understand and then comes another 
message and this train will not come and few messages one after the other are coming this train is not coming this train is not coming and since the trains from all over the place cannot enter Heilige Stadt or this station the holy city suddenly a great silence fall on the place nothing is moving it is very hot there's no breeze and the more we notice the heaviness of the heat the more people become silent not to lose energy just to strive the moment because we don't know how long it's going to take the hour is about 3 p.m. afternoon it is very hot we are barely breathing and this is what is happening in this moment this moment was living in me since september 219 and a few days ago it came as a poem the name of the poem is beheilige stadt bewina hair in heilige stadt in the holy city bewina hair in vienna the city the holiness in vienna city or a holy city in vienna city beheilige stadt bewina hair in the holy city in Vienna, the city. Beyom kaitz ham veshemen bahir in a very hot, oily, bright summer day odia karuz bekol shel shaman a voice was informing announcement in a voice of a shaman of a healer ki en rakavot that there are no trains venigmarlo hazman and there is no time because if there is no movement if there is no movement trains are not coming out from the station or going in there's no movement basically there is no time if we read the announcement in its hidden notion sheket shel has hu shlach bamakom a very deep silence was thrown into the place a dim min hakarka veyovesh shel khom steam from the ground and dryness of heat sipo as lo afa a bird then did not fly tinok lo bacha a baby did not cry rak sheket shel az veishon shel svacha just silence of then and a pupil of a thicken of the bush ule rega ule feta yakhulta lirot and for a sudden moment you could see et ninve ha'ir nitzevet behod and suddenly and for a moment you could see Nineveh, the city, standing in royalty, in its highness. Mimizrach lakatar haomed baratsif. From the east side of the locomotive which is standing on the rails. Hasheket hachom. Veyona Metzif. The silence, the heat, and Jonah is floating. This is what is happening in this dead moment 
when suddenly for one hour, because that moment is a very flexible time, and this is what happened in this dead moment. Suddenly, you get a notion of a very, very ancient happening. Hein Ninve Hivina. It is truly that Ninve is Vienna. Bechiluf Otiot. When we change the place of the letters, because Ninve, Ninve in Hebrew, this is five letters, Nun, Yod, Nun, Vav, He, five letters, and Vienna, Vina, is four letters, Vav, Yod, Nun, He. So please, let's read again. Hen, Ninve, Hi, Vina. Bechiluf Otiot. It is truly that Ninve is Vienna when we change the letters or when the letters replace their place. Venun and the extra Nun of Ninve because there is one extra letter. Nun. Venun shel Rachman and the letter Nun of the word merciful in Hebrew. Rahman, Rahman is a merciful person. Venun shel Rahman and the letter Nun of the word merciful in Hebrew, Rahman, he has sod lihiyot. It is the secret of being, meaning the extra Nun that we have in the name Ninve for in relation to Vienna, which is only four letters, Vina. So the extra Nun in Ninve symbolizes the Nun that appears in the word merciful in Hebrew, Rahman. And this is the secret of being, meaning being is the meaning of being is merciful. כך ראינו בווינה בעיר הקדושים. This is how we saw in Vienna, in the holy city, בעיר הקדושים, in the city of holies, את היד הרוחמת על צל אנשים. The merciful hand above the shadow of people. Ve vina, ve yona, ve nin ve huach, and Vienna, and Jonah, and nin ve. It is just tzeruf otiyot, a combination of letters. Shenigla li velach, that was revealed to you and to me. This is a story of a dead moment when seemingly nothing is happening and we wait in a strange land, in a foreign land, in a foreign language for unforeseeable time in very hot conditions, and not just us, also other people in the station. And the more information comes about the lack of movement of trains, the more people sing to themselves, just concise themselves in themselves, not to lose any drop of energy. But in this, so to speak, that moment comes suddenly not a vision, but a feeling of something very, very ancient and very, very deep. And this sense, which is described in the book of Jonah, how Jonah taking a refuge under the Kikayon, because a person cannot strive under the sun unless if there is a protection. And this moment 
of nothing is happening suddenly brings this notion of Jonah in Nineveh. This is a very, very ancient story. And we could experience this being in Vienna in 219. Because suddenly the sound of the city, of the trains, of the happening, everything just dropped down. It was all of this story happened. We understood it was one hour. It took one hour. This moment silent or that moment was about one hour. But since it was so quiet, we could concentrate and go inside of ourselves. And this simplicity of the heart, and in this moment when we externally think that there is nothing, because a thought is something external, I did not even go to this realm to explain that a thought is external. When the thought cannot think, in a way, there are no uh, aggravators to think or to cope with, suddenly comes a stream from the heart. And the stream that comes from the heart is always truth. And the stream says we experience here something very similar to what Jonah experienced. But this is interesting, we experience, but it's not Ninve. No, we're in Austria and in Vienna. But Vienna in Hebrew, we write with four letters Vav, Yod, Nun, He. And Vienna is basically in Hebrew, Vina is the same letters of Jonah, Yona. Four letters, four letters in a different order. But Jonah had to go to Nineveh. Nineveh has an extra letter, extra noon, to Vienna. And in a way, what we were experiencing in Vienna, being Nineveh, because there was the holy mercy hand of the merciful one Rahman upon us, so in Vienna, Vina, Oyona, we could feel the extra noon of merciful, of Ninveh. So everything became one. And this moment, I wish to share with you. I hope that you understand. In this moment, I would like to wish each and every one of you Shana Tova, Shana Brucha, a blissful year with happiness of the heart and creativity. Shana Tova and Shalom Shalom. Thank you for listening to Bible Stories as Blueprints of the Soul, your Biblical Hebrew podcast. For more information, articles, videos, and interactive classes, please visit hebrew.learnoutlive.com or join our YouTube channel. Shalom v'chol tu.